Hi there, and welcome. Certain types of businesses rely heavily on equipment to add value and to serve their customers. These include machine shops, as well as continuous process industries, such as breweries, bottlers, refineries, paper mills, pharmaceuticals, and so forth. When there are problems with production equipment, this leads to late deliveries, quality problems, financial losses, and low morale. Fortunately, there is a set of practices, methods, and tools that empowers organizations to reduce equipment losses while maximizing the effectiveness of production systems. TPM, or Total Productive Maintenance, is a set of practices, methods, and tools that enables organizations to do this. TPM was formalized by the Japan Institute of Plant Maintenance, or JIPM, based on the experience of several companies in the application of maintenance best practices in the latter half of the 20th century. In the TPM philosophy, this is made more specific in the form of an ambitious goal of zero breakdowns of equipment. Just as it may not be possible to ever eliminate 100% of waste from every process, achieving a manufacturing operation that never has any equipment breakdowns is nearly impossible. However, the zero breakdown philosophy and the various TPM activities are designed to identify and eliminate the causes of breakdowns. It's also designed to help us develop a mindset that refuses to accept that equipment breakdowns are unavoidable. Many TPM activities are shop floor focused, but TPM aims to engage everyone in the organization in activities to minimize every type of equipment loss. These include, but are not limited to, breakdowns, accidents, defects, idling, failures, energy, and environmental pollution. TPM activities are designed to help us to detect, expose, and eliminate all minor flaws in our equipment, establish and maintain basic equipment conditions, identify and set optimal operating conditions, and correct every deficiency identified, no matter how small. TPM is structured around a set of activities that span the entire organization, they are known as the eight TPM pillars. They are focused improvement, autonomous maintenance, planned maintenance, education and training, early equipment management, quality maintenance, office TPM, and safety and environment management. There are many benefits of practicing TPM. First, there are the financial benefits of having more reliable equipment. It's common for organizations to improve their equipment capacity by 30%, 50%, or even 100% through persistent loss reduction activities of TPM. The ability to produce more without adding more equipment cost translates directly to increased profit. Second, TPM places a strong focus on people development, specifically developing the knowledge, skill, autonomy, and motivation of the equipment operators. The long-term pursuit of TPM develops the zero-loss mindset and awareness in every person in the organization. People drive TPM improvement and make it sustainable. The education, training, and autonomy given to the machine operators make the human factor more predictable and reliable. A lean transformation cannot be sustained without this type of stability. While there are many specific continuous improvement methods for achieving stability related to labor, quality, material variability, etc., TPM is the best suited approach for businesses that are heavily equipment dependent. Last but not least, TPM creates basic stability by making equipment reliable in terms of availability and production output. TPM reduces contamination and reverses deterioration, making equipment more reliable in terms of product quality. Organizations generally practice TPM in one of two ways. Some approach TPM as a comprehensive program, while others may choose to practice only a few TPM techniques. In either case, there is a logical step-by-step multi-phase sequence to how TPM is rolled out. In the first approach, an organization pursues a comprehensive TPM program. This often means making a plan to establish the eight pillars one by one through their activities, their component practices, and tools. If an organization has committed to the entire scope of TPM, but still needs to formulate a plan, there is a 12-step process to implementing a TPM program. In process industries and continuous process operations, TPM is often rolled out as a complete manufacturing improvement system. 
These businesses rely mainly on equipment to add value in production, and the benefits of TPM can be felt most directly. In the second approach, an organization selectively adopts some but not all of the TPM pillars as part of their manufacturing management system. Often, they start with the focused improvement and autonomous maintenance pillars because these address common production problems. TPM fits very well into an overall operational excellence program for discrete manufacturing organizations or any company that uses equipment that can break down. Many organizations find it very useful to adopt TPM practices selectively to improve overall equipment effectiveness, engage their workforce in safety and production efforts, or simply to strengthen their overall maintenance system. That wraps up our overview of TPM, or Total Productive Maintenance. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.